Hey, how's it going once again? Today I'm going to talk about a post I saw on Facebook. Yes, I went back on Facebook. Uh, I don't know why these guys insist on being on there, but you got to go if you want to see what they got. And people ask questions, and now, you know, 10 years ago or whenever it was I first got on Facebook, I was not qualified to answer questions. I did not know the answers to what people were asking. And I learned as time went by that most of the people who ask these questions, first of all, they shouldn't be asking them on Facebook in a group with a bunch of other newbies. And even if there are people on there that know what they're doing, that they could take the time to answer the question. I'm going to give you the, uh, an example pertaining to email where Someone asks the question, well, how do I do this particular action in this particular email provider? It's, I know they say there's no such thing as a dumb question. And that's not a dumb question. It's, but where you put it is kind of dumb because you're paying those people to take care of your email account. And there's, they have an entire team of experts ready to tell you exactly what to do, how to use it that you're already paying for and you want to take and ask this question in a group instead what you ought to do which is a much better way is contact support find out what they do run through it either make a quick video or actually that's the best thing is make a quick video post it in the group and say, hey, I had this question about my email autoresponder. This is what I use, and this is what they told me. It wasn't as hard as I thought. Here's a video to show you how to do it. And now you're adding information to the group to assist people, and people will begin to look at you as someone who finds the answers to problems, which is what you're after in the first place. Got it? So how this relates to what I'm talking about today is a guy asked a question about email and he he was talking to other people about how to write emails and I said write it every day talk to them in in your own voice and sell something every day tell them what you've got tell them what your offer is and so on and other people were offering their email sequences to him to to use and I'm thinking why would you do that <laughs> you know, but anyway, I guess they thought they were being helpful, and th that's why I put my post on there because I was basically telling them, "Don't do that. Do your own, because you're never going to develop your own voice." And you're talking to your list. These are people that are going to get used to listening to you in your audio, or watching your video, or reading your email every single day because they like you, they like what you've got to say, and they like how you say it. Much the same way you listen to your favorite radio morning program or whatever it is. The funny thing about this is, lately, oh, mm, lately, over the past couple of years, uh, the main thing coming out is to email every day. But I think pretty much everybody understands that now, except for the old the gurus are still teaching this old crap about why you shouldn't which is insane it's so funny they use this metaphor about well you don't go up to a girl in a bar and ask her to marry you the first time do you know you gotta you gotta go out there a couple of times and nurture her and this and that well first of all if you're meeting a girl in the bar you don't want to get married anyway there's one thing you want it's perfectly fine because she knows that's what you want that's why she's there too if you're looking for a life partner in a bar you're a freaking idiot anyway so, so why would you want that woman for a long-term relationship? Anyway, the point is, once you have a relationship with the, with the woman, how often do you talk to her? I'll tell you what, you better be talking to her every single day, or she's going to forget who you are. Like, go out with her once, and then, well, I don't want to pressure you or anything, so I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not going to talk to you again for two weeks and then, okay, you send her a text. And this is not going to work, okay? Especially if you're married. Don't, don't talk to your wife every day. She might want to uh, go somewhere else because you're such a bother. It's, it's just so dumb. Anyway, what I was thinking about is this guy named Dagan Smith. And he's been around forever. 
in internet time <laughs> and he used to talk about emailing twice a day and he had a, he had a particular way he did it and it was very effective he, every person he told it to and I'm talking about an eight figure earner I heard one time say yeah Dagan told me to email twice a day and you know what I started emailing twice a day and I doubled my income ten figure earner so I covered a couple of different points in this video but the thing the main question was the guy didn't know what to talk about and the reason I brought up Dagan Smith is because he laid out way back when the way to do this it was effective then it's effective now I'm imagining it's going to be effective 20 years from now regardless of what type of information media you're using to get your message out and that is this you study something you learn it and then you share what you learned with your followers that's it and then of course you sell them something in your other email it's it's a simple thing but the reason you don't know what to say to people in your emails every day is because you don't know what you're doing yet you have information but it's not enough you have information but you don't know how to relate it you have information but you don't know how to segue from that and relate it to the course or whatever it is you're selling even if you have no idea you, you can find ideas I mean, anywhere but let's just say you you have a book and you you're reading it and you find a point and you write that point down that is a topic for an email so then when you go sit down and write your email you look at that topic and you talk about this is what the guy said this is what i learned from it this is what i'm doing with it you should try it too have a great day buy my course <laughs> that's basically how it how it's going to work out don't think that you don't have something to say every day in an email or a video or whatever because if you don't the answer is always learn more stuff that you can share that's it and it takes a little bit longer in the beginning like right now I see anything and I can relate it to to all this stuff because it's it's just ingrained it's part of who I am now I never ever have a problem with it with topic or content if you do there's only one way to overcome it and that's to learn something about your topic and then teach it learn something about a related item and then tell other people what you learned use a tool or a technique and then share with other people how it worked for you and your opinion of it don't worry if your opinion is different than somebody else. The reason people are listening to you is because they want to hear what you've got to say. So that should cover all your, all of your challenges with having something to talk about. And by the way, it's no, it's no problem just to be you. Talk about, hey, you know what? This is what happened to me today. I hope you're having a great day. I'm over here at a picnic, and I was thinking about this, and it reminded me of this book I read, and that's all I want to talk about. Whatever. It can be very quick and easy. And unlike this video, which has gone on far too long, holy crap, it's nine minutes. I gotta quit. I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'm out.